Hello. Hi, my name is Irfan. I'm the pharmacist on duty. How may I help you? Uh, actually, I'm Lisa Hart, and uh, uh, I have one concern, and um, I just want you to address my concern. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Please uh, have a seat. This is our private counseling area. Thank you. So whatever we discuss shall be kept privately confidential. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. So, Lisa, how are you doing today? Yeah, I am good. Uh, actually, um, I have been uh, for a blood test recently. Okay. Doctor ordered me some blood work, and uh, uh, my doctor told me like I have some high lipid profile, and uh, my doctor want me to start on one of the medication that is Lipitor. Yes. Uh, for cholesterol problem, but you know, like I, 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 I'm afraid to start that medication. I don't want to take that medication. Oh, uh, right, Lisa. Is it okay if I ask why are you reluctant in taking this medication? Um, yeah, actually, you know what, my father used the same medication. Mm -hmm. He's on Lipitor for a long time, okay. uh, but a uh, few weeks back, he suffered from very severe muscle pain, and that was very much uh, bothering. Okay, and, uh, must I be a little hard for you. I yes. Think. So uh, I, I hope he's doing well now. Yeah, he's okay now, but uh, you know, like that phase was very much depressing okay. and uh, it was hurting. So I don't want to uh, experience those side effects. So is there any way out? Like I don't want to start Lipitor. Oh, I understand that concern. So your father is actually still on atorvastatin and uh, he's stable on it. Oh uh, yes, that is Lipitor. Okay, okay atorvastatin. Okay. okay, and he is uh, his uh, readings are good, like his uh, liver profile and his cholesterol. Yes, doctors say he's doing good on his cholesterol levels. Okay, that's not good and now coming down to your concern mm -hmm. so I see that uh, and your mother she is uh, I'm just ruling out the family history because it looks that there is a family trait mm -hmm. coming your way mm -hmm. from the father's side uh, yes my mother also has uh, diabetes high blood pressure and cholesterol problems so you see there is uh, more likelihood that from your parents you might have gotten the same trend okay. so in that case you need to be more concerned and considerable which is why your doctor has prescribed you this medication mm -hmm. and uh, it definitely is for the best interest. I'll get to that uh, a little further, but before that, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure. All right, Lisa. Um, do you have any allergies? No. Uh, any medical conditions? Uh, no, just this cholesterol problem I have recently been diagnosed. Okay. And uh, any other medications that you're currently taking? No. Uh, any over-the-counter herbal vitamins? No. Okay. Um, a few lifestyle questions, do you mind if I ask? Um, proceed. Okay. Uh, do you take coffee? Sometimes, occasionally. Okay. And uh, how about alcohol consumption? No, I don't drink. That's good for your condition. Keep it up. And uh, you don't smoke, right? Uh, no. Okay. That's good. This, uh, this is also one factor. Okay. Uh, exchanging from smoking is can be really helpful in this condition. Okay. So keep doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, how about your lifestyle? Like, uh, do you have time to exercise? Actually, uh, I have a job and uh, um, I rarely get time uh, to go for physical activity, but I try my best on weekends only. Okay, so it's just one day that you try? And yeah, one or two days, All yes. Right. Okay, I'll address that. And how about your uh, diet? Uh, diet is, as I mentioned, I am a busy person, so it is on the go. On the go, so you pretty much take everything. There's no specific diet that you follow? Mm, yeah, no. Okay, and it's mostly... Uh, healthy like fruits vegetables um, not pretty much not much okay I'll get to that no worries thank you so much for your uh, information before I get to my reference is there any other concern that you want me to address uh, no just okay, right. I'll just get to my reference and get back to you sure okay. So very much, Lisa, for your uh, waiting. I appreciate that. So, uh, addressing your concern, as I partly uh, touched that point, that since your father and mother both have a family, a family trait of high. You said in your mother's case, is uh, high blood pressure, glucose, like sugar, and in your father's case, he has been on a statin. So, I would suggest you to be, to to follow your doctor's instru instructions, okay. and keep. Uh, make sure that you start this medication because not only that it will help you in preventing the further likelihood which might get worsened like diabetes, high blood pressure because these uh, these ailments are pretty much linked to each other. Okay. Like they come one after another because if one is there you're more prone to another one. Okay. So if you happen to take this, these medications right now when your doctor has figured out that your lipid profile is on the higher side. Mm -hmm. 
So that would be a good thing. Okay. Not only it will prevent you, but also uh, uh, as for your concern that since your father had uh, those side effects, that's not true. That might not be true for you because your father might be an advanced stage in that particular situation. Okay. So if you take, take these medications now, it would be, it would be, there might be a likelihood that you might be a good candidate in preventing this medication. Plus, incorporating physical activity, okay. like four to five times a week, mm -hmm. 20, 30 minutes a day, uh, uh, a day would be appropriate and will definitely help you along with slight modification in your diet. Okay. Like incorporating just uh, fruits, vegetables, and uh, eating something healthy, like low in sodium yeah. and uh, low in oil contents. Gradually do that, and you, when you see the results, you will definitely see that this medication is going to be helping you more as opposed to someone who is not incorporating these things. So what should I do like, if I experience any muscle pain after taking this medication? Well, I'm concerned about well uh, in that case, I said uh, that might not be the case. But if yes, it, if you feel so, Speak to your doctor right away. Okay. Like that condition is rare, but that is ha happening if you take that dose on a higher side. So make sure that whatever dose that your doctor has prescribed you, this medication, stick to that. There's no point even if you miss a dose, there's no need to double the dose because that probably might happen. The side effect might happen if you increase your dose yourself. Okay. So um, is it uh, fine? Am I convinced that you probably will be taking this oh, medication? Oh, yes, sure. I, I will do that. No problem. And if is there any other concern that you want me to address? Uh, no, not right now. All right, perfect. So wish you all the very best. Is it okay if I call you in a month or see if everything is going well? Yeah, sure. You can give me a call. No all problem. Right. I really Thank appreciate you. it, Lisa. Thank you yeah. so very much. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Bye. Bye.